to our second week of practicing for the per percussion section. So for this week coming up on Friday, we have a test. What I just did for you is exactly how the test will go. I ask you to go through your embouchure rubric checkpoint. So make sure that you're sitting up tall, standing up tall. You pinch, find fulcrum, wrap, palms face the ground, elbows out a little bit from the body. And then you're just gonna go ahead and do those patterns. I started off with a right, left, right, left, right, left pattern. Then the next pattern was a left, right, left, right, left, right. The following pattern after that was two rights, two lefts, two rights, two lefts. And the other one was reverse, two lefts, two rights, two lefts, two rights. Exactly as we, as we have been practicing in class. That's exactly how the test will go. If you can do that successfully, you'll pass with a very good grade. If you have mistakes here and there, obviously your grade will reflect that. So continue practicing, excuse me, practicing that this week. As well, we're gonna have you practice the bells. So there's three notes that you will need to know for this week. We have B flat. So if you look for your patterns of keys, and it'll actually be labeled on yours. Uh, you have two keys on the top part, and then three keys on the top part, two keys on the top part, three keys. That pattern, very much like piano, helps us determine where notes are. So you have the three keys. Of those three keys, the one on the very right of the three keys, that's our B flat, okay? Sound like this. If it sounds like this on yours, that's fine also. This will be one note that you'll need to know. You also need to know the one above that, which is C, and then D. I will also show you this in class so that you can practice. For your practice sessions, you're going to need to practice from our Standard of Excellence book. It's going to be most of our exercises for this week will be page six, and a little bit on page seven. We'll be working through numbers one through nine this week. Of course, the first day of class, we'll work on one through four, and then we'll try to move on from there. So I'll give you number one as an example of how, you like, how I'd like you to play this. Now, measure one, we start with the note D. In fact, that's what the entire exercise has. It's the only note, but we have to worry about the rhythm that we see. So that first measure, we have four quarter notes, and in the second measure, we don't have four quarter notes, but we have something called a quarter rest. It still gets one beat of music, but instead of me playing a note, I have to rest for that beat. So the second measure, there's four beats of quarter rest. And then measure three, we have four Ds again as quarter notes. And in measure four, we have the same thing as measure two, four quarter rest, and so on and so on. So I'll, I'll demonstrate this one to give you an idea of how you're supposed to play this. I want you to be counting while you're playing. So one, two, three, four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 That's exercise one. I want you to count for every single exercise out loud so that you can keep the tempo for the entire exercise. All right, that's all you're required to practice this week. Uh, exercises one through nine. Start with exercises one through four. Get used to them, that's the notes. The, the notes are introduced. Look to see where the note is located on the staff. If it's right underneath the staff, it's, if it's on the first ledger line below the staff, or if it's below that first ledger line. That tells you what note it is. All right, happy practicing.